Hi, here's how you create a Weld sketch in WeldNote from scratch. First, you start off by introducing a name, which will be used both for the groove design and for the weld layer configuration. So let's say weld sketch BW001. And then you click on next and you'll be prompted to select the, um, to create the base, uh, which will have just the plates. So you got to click here on the joint preparation and select <clears throat> the proper plate that you're going to use for your, uh, for your welding. So let's select something like a standard V groove. You can adjust the size a little bit and you also can align them a little bit with these bars here. And for the sake of making it very equal, I will click on the duplicate button right here. Uh, so I'll put it on the next, on the, on the left side and let's flip it on this button right here. So this is what constitutes your, <clears throat> your base uh, plates. And with this, every, everything that you put here will not be editable for each WPS. So click I'm done. And you will also be able to preview what it looks like. And you have a, a progress bar over here as well. So let's move on to the groove design where you'll introduce some more details Let's say you want to introduce um, something like this uh, and let's rotate it. No, actually this, not this one. Let's put a vertical one and not diagonal one. And you rotate this and let's resize it a little bit to fit more into this root gap right here. Let's say you want to put it here. And now let's put some text. So I'm going to give it just the R. Uh, the R in WellNote usually means the root gap symbol. So we're going to use that to define this here. Let's change the text size as well to fit it a little better. And I'm also going to introduce some other arrows like this one right here. And I'm also going to give it a T. And finally, I'm going to introduce the <clears throat> angle dimensions in here. Let's just reduce it a little bit. And here, duplicate it, flip it, drag it. And I'm just going to give this to the to the angle here we go so um, I'm done for this sketch let's continue you can over, you can see what you did you can also go back so let's move with the wall layer configuration you'll notice the plates are already here and now we're going to introduce the weld passes so here we go select one of the welding passes One, two, three, four. Yeah, just fill up the weld uh, itself. Uh, you can have bigger weld beads, which will mean uh, this will have less passes filled in here. Uh, just to make it a little bit smoother. And I can say that this is it. Finally, I'm done. Show me a preview. And then you, after this, you have all the sketches done. You just need to classify them um, to make sure that you, they will be easily searchable. So this is going to be a butt joint. You have all these options right here, corner, T-joint, socket. But for this one, it's a butt. Um, it's a full V, full V groove. You have pretty much most of the common options. It's uh, for multi-layer. It's a single side, no backing, and it's a full penetration butt belt. You can select more here as well. If there's a, a selection that uh, may, matches more than one, this could be also used for a branch connection perhaps. Um, but yeah, so save this fault sketch and you're all done. You'll see the most recent sketches in the overview. 
uh, and you'll also be able to find them by their names. Thank you.